equal before God. It's the blasphemous ways of man that have cost us our God-given equality. Hi, I'm Richard Rouse, director and writer on The Church in the Darkness, and I want to give you a look at some of our gameplay here today. Set in the political unrest of the 1970s, this is a fast-paced action infiltration game where you go inside a radical religious cult known as the Collective Justice Mission. Led by Isaac and Rebecca Walker, they have relocated to South America to isolate themselves. The player is Vic, who goes down to get inside the group and look for nephew Alex, see if he's okay, or see if something bad has happened to him. We actually change the nature of the cult every time you play, so the player is looking for clues and trying to decide if they want to play the game lethally, non-lethally, or something in between. We are all equal before God. It's the blasphemous ways of man that have cost us our God-given equality. We tell a lot of our story through creepy scenes like that one, as well as the preacher's voices over the PA system, like you just heard. I'm going to keep heading up this road and, oh, that guy saw me. No, oh, he set off the alarm. Let's see if I can, oh, it looks like reinforcements are coming. Oh, this is bad. I tried to shoot it out with these guys, but, you know, there's just too many of them. I have told you they would come. Now, looks like they haven't actually killed me, but have locked me up for trespassing in their town. Let's see what this woman says. Who sent you? Never mind. I don't want to listen to your lies. There won't be time for the death squad. This will all be over soon. I've wanted to send this message for a long time. That was Rebecca Walker. She's one of the preachers who leads the Collective Justice Mission. It sounds like she has some dangerous plans in mind, uh, but again, that's something that will change with each playthrough. Now, it looks like if I pick the right time to break out of this cage, I can avoid getting spotted by that guard. Now, I didn't want to mess around, so I did a lethal takedown there, just to be safe. Now, if I search him, I can get a gun back. And, what's this over here? Yes, if I search this shed, it's where they put some of the equipment I had when they captured me. I've got my gun equipped again. And I'm ready to go back and get back into Freedom Town. Now, sometimes getting past guards is just a question of finding the right path. It can often be the safest option if you can find it. Oh, looks like that guy spotted me, but if I just keep moving, he's not going to get too suspicious. Oh, I hear some gunfire. Oh, looks like someone on a shooting range, but I think there's a person tied up to that post. I'm going to see if I can do something about this situation. This is one we wrote. We call it the Song of Forgiveness. Now, in addition to that newspaper clipping, I also found a tranquilizer dart gun. I'm going to try equipping that. I think it might come in handy. Yeah, this guy sees me. But now he's out and silently. Unfortunately, it looks like I'm too late to do anything for this guy. Oh, and I hear that guy I tranquilized waking up, so I better get moving. And we're lost along the way. Lost along the way. Looks like I found some people locked in cages. 
think it might still be time to save these people. Huh? Huh? Oh, looks like these people are not too happy to see me. Looks like they're a little freaked out. Somebody set off the All alarm. All security teams. All security teams. We are in high alert. There's an assassin in our town. Now, they're not going to capture me a second time. But now I can restart the game. When I restart, I get to repick my character. I get to choose my difficulty a level again. I think I could go up a level, but I think maybe I better stick with Infiltrator. And then here, I get to pick some equipment based on what I've unlocked from the previous playthrough. So now I've actually started with that tranquilizer gun. And you'll notice, too, that I've started in a totally different part of the map. Part of the replayability of this game is that you start in different locations each time you play. Where your objectives are will change, and thus making the game very replayable, in addition to the personalities of the cult leaders changing every time you play, too. So you're getting both dynamic gameplay and dynamic narrative. Well, it looks like this is a note about my nephew. Dear Isaac, the work we do here is hard. It is broken, strong, good people. I know the Lord is supporting us, but my family back in America do not see. Please, in your next sermon, can you talk again about how eventually we will survive and thrive? I need your inspiration, Alex. So it sounds like Alex kind of likes being in this group, but that tone is a little weird too, where he's trying to look for support from Isaac about how he's supposed to convince people that he's really happy here. Trying to figure out where I'm going. Looks like a lot of people in this orchard, but what's this? Do I know you? I think she's friendly. I'll go talk to her, maybe. Are you a member of the mission? Did you just join? I came here to find a good home for my boys. I loved what my kids would learn here about justice for everyone. But this place is too... intense. Now, everywhere I look is danger. Things are coming to a head. I wish I could go get my kids and run, but they're off in Cuba. I don't even know where. I need an address, anything, before I can think of leaving to go get them. It looks like Teresa there could really use our help to try to find where her kids are. Uh, and you'll meet different characters in the game who may help you if you help them. And if I keep searching those desks, I might find the document she's looking for that would let her know where her kids are. I wish we could inspire the world, save more people. But if we can just save ourselves, we will know that it's all God wished for us. Oh, I see. I'm back at the cages area. I'm not going to let those guys out this time. That got me in too much trouble before. Maybe if I was smarter about how I did it, I could pull it off. Oh, here's one of those desks I can search. Maybe this will have what Teresa needs. Nope, looks like this is something a little different. Sounds like that may be tied to a different character. Oh, that person almost spotted me. Come up to some big kind of building here. Uh, we heard Isaac and Rebecca playing on the PA system before. We see they often incorporate music into their worship. Oh, that guy spotted me. Oh, I'd like to go talk to that guy in there, but... Oh, oh, too many guards. This is bad. Ditch them? I don't know, that guy saw me. Oh, there goes the alarm. Security, do you have visual confirmation? Oh, more. Oh, this is really bad. Sometimes you can get away 
sometimes you just get yourself into more trouble. And I think we better leave it there. Thanks for taking a look at the church in the darkness. Thank <laughs> you.